Hey guys, got my robot done here. It's a simple um, distance sensor. Let me just show you how, how it works. So it's gonna go uh, detect my hand here soon. Okay, now that it detects my hand, it's actually going to follow my hand. So if I go further, it's gonna get closer. If I go closer, it gets further. So it tries to keep a distance. I don't remember what the number is, but basically, um, if it gets too close, it moves back. If it gets too far, it moves forward. And if it doesn't detect it at all, it just sits there. So let me try again. So if I go here, if I go really close, it tracks right away. But if I go far away, if I go far away, nothing happens here. But if I get to a distance, then it will follow my hand. That's what it does. It doesn't actually turn or anything. So uh, let me give you a tour. So uh, yeah, everything that is uh, above the above the plate here is not included. That's all extra uh, from my parts bin. I got a distance sensor from China, a uh, H bridge chip over here, and an Arduino of course, and just uh, some odds and ends switches and wires. So um, let's see. Oh, one thing interesting is I discovered that I have to actually put another battery there's another 9 volt battery down here to drive the Arduino separately because when I try to uh, put the Arduino and the motor on the same battery I think the bat the motor sucks out some um, power too much power so it creates a brownout so the Arduino actually didn't have enough power so it works for a while and then when the batteries start to lower it actually uh, makes the other knob work unreliably. So with the uh, extra power here, that works quite reliably now. Um, that's about it, I think. Uh, it's basically, uh, the code is also very simple. I'll include the code in the link, but not too bad. Um, talk to you guys later, bye-bye.